In this video, we'll learn how to create an explicit intent and use it to start an activity. An intent is a request you send to Android to start a new activity. You create the intent, load it with information about the activity you want started, and then send the intent to Android. Then Android starts the activity for you. The intent class is fairly complex. It has many overloaded constructors and properties. We'll look at the core uses of intent here and then see a few of its advanced capabilities later in the course. An explicit intent is an intent that exactly identifies the activity to start. Most of the time, you'll know exactly which activity you want to start. For example, suppose you're implementing the All Contacts page of a Contacts app. When the user touches a contact, you want to navigate the app to the Contact Details activity. There's no doubt or ambiguity about the target activity. You use an explicit intent in this case and load the type object of the target activity to identify it. Note that there must be a context associated with the APK containing the target activity. Explicit intents are generally used to start an activity that is defined inside your APK. Technically, they can also be used to start an activity from a different APK as long as you know the package name and class name. This is generally rare. Most of the time, it's reasonable to think of an explicit intent as how you launch an activity defined in your own APK. Can you think of a situation where you might not know the identity of the activity you want to start? How about when you need a service performed but don't care how it's done? For example, if your app needs to take a photo, any activity that can take a photo will work and you don't need to know which one handles your request. Context provides the core methods for starting activities. You call Start Activity to ask Android to launch an activity for you. There's one version that takes an intent and another that takes a type object. The version that takes a type object is just a convenience to save you the one line of code needed to create an intent yourself. Context and activity are both large, complex types. They provide other methods to start an activity. However, the ones shown here are the most common, so we'll focus on those. To start an activity using an explicit intent, you first need to create the intent and load it with the type object that identifies the target. Then you pass the intent to start activity. In this example, we're using a click as the user action that starts the activity inside what's known as a click handler. It's common to launch new activities from inside event handlers because you're typically responding to a user request. For example, if the user touches the Add Contact button in the All Contacts activity, you would respond by navigating the app to the New Contact activity.